Hi, this is Tom Bojor with Guitar World Magazine. I'm here today with guitarist extraordinaire Oz Noy, and uh, together we'll be showing you some miking techniques to get great distorted and clean guitar sounds. For today's demonstration, we'll be using three blue microphones. A dynamic mic, the Encore 100i, which can take really high SPL levels and has a warm, smooth tone and two condenser microphones, the Spark SL Blackout, which is detailed and transparent, and the Baby Bottle SL, which has a rich classic sound. For our first example today, we're gonna start uh, with a dynamic microphone right on the center of the speaker cone, which will yield the brightest, most present tone that you can get if you really want to make things pop. We're gonna have a Baby Bottle SL condenser microphone about one foot from the amplifier which will capture some atmosphere and a little bit more air. And for a far room mic we have a Spark Blackout SL which is about 15 feet away from the amplifier. This will capture the sound of the room and give you some distance and dimension. <laughs> For our next example, we've moved the 100i a little bit further from the center of the speaker cone. This attenuates harshness and high end. So if you've got a really bright guitar, a really bright amp, and you need to chill things out a little bit, try moving away from the center of the cone. For our next example, we've turned the Encore 100i a little off axis from the speaker. This generally yields a phasier tone, maybe a little more honky, and it can be great if you're going for a 70s vibe or something that has a little extra mid-range. <laughs> For this example, we've actually moved the baby bottle behind the amplifier. As this cabinet has an open back, there's actually quite a bit of sound coming out of the back of the cabinet. This can yield really interesting sounds. A lot of engineers do this. You'll want to make sure to flip the phase on either the front or the back mic so that they line up. For this example, we're employing a technique that I've used with such bands as Not A Surf, Scale The Summit, and Juliana Hatfield, where you put a condenser mic next to the dynamic mic. You have them very close together so that they're phase coherent, and you can blend in the punchy mid-range of the dynamic mic with the sparkling highs of the condenser to create a really deep and three-dimensional guitar sound. <laughs> In 
this example, we've decided to point the spark blackout at the floor. This may seem a little unusual, but where far room mics are concerned, there really are no rules. In a full mix, you'll very rarely be able to get the full benefit of a far room mic anyway, so you should think of it really as a color or an effect. Try it in a corner, try it down the hall, really whatever yields something interesting is what you should be going for. So as you've seen, using three microphones, you can get a really wide range of guitar tones. When using room mics, as I showed, um, you, there are really no rules. Experiment at will. Um, point them at the floor like Steve Albini. Point them in the corner. Do whatever you want. Uh, it's all about getting a great sound and something that will inspire you and the artist you're recording.